Let's talk about the proper sequence in the throwing motion and the proper tempo and the proper direction of shoulders and arm and body. We want to be able to improve velocity, increase accuracy, and reduce the risk of injury. Let's start out with positioning. Most young players never square themselves up towards their target. They throw with their chest facing their target rather than squaring their shoulders up to their target. We want to get our bodies squared up towards our target before the throw happens so that we're in position to create maximum hip rotation and shoulder rotation and great arm extension, which is going to give a player a lot more velocity in their throw. The first part of the throw is the glove separation of ball from glove. We want to have both thumbs, glove thumb and ball thumb, pointed down in a downward action in their first movement so the elbows will slightly go up. Then we want to create a circle with the fingers on top of the ball, getting the elbow in a position where the elbow is above the shoulder. Once the elbow is above the shoulder, the next phase of the throw is getting that glove arm going out also. Most young players don't have a lot of glove side going on, so they're not able to really swim that glove. Once we swim the glove out towards the target and bring it back, the rotational phase of the throw happens, and the elbow begins to lead the hand. 